Hey everyone, thank you for visiting my channel and this is a workbox video for my first grader for the week of January 11th through the 15th. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with math. For math, uh, we use the Matthew C curriculum and uh, we're using Matthew C Alpha. And um, these are the um, worksheets that she will be completing for her uh, 18th number lesson. And uh, she'll do two pages a day. And then um, I have some games for her. Um, so I have like, I got these from the dollar spot. So um, I'm going to make a little, um, like a game field for her and put in some addition facts. And she'll try to hit the ball to the problem. And um, these are flashcards to go over addition facts. And these are her manipulatives for uh, Matthew C. And then uh, for language arts, we're going to play a game of Pictionary. And then um, with the, I have these little soccer balls just like the... One, the baseball ones that I showed you for math and um, uh, they're like very little and I'm going to uh, play a game with her with uh, some spelling words and um, I will do a video post for that uh, once I have it um, lined up um, the day of the game and I will post it on Instagram or I'll make a video and put an updated video here Um, so I'll do that. Uh, for reading comp comprehension, she's moving on to grade, uh, grade 2 reading smart Alex. She really likes these um, stories and they're kind of like short and um, and it has kind of games with it. So she really enjoys them. So um, I think she finished like half of the book last week. So, uh, And then for grammar notebook. Um, we're going to go into pro pronoun, and so there's a pronoun song, and then some cut and paste activities, some crossword puzzles, some coloring, and some writing. And I will post the links for these below for your reference. We're going to play some hangman of uh, words that we're learning for our science. And then for spelling, uh, we're going to finish off for All About Spelling Level 1. And we're going to play a spelling tic-tac-toe. So uh, we're either, I'm st either going to give her a word bank and uh, either some of the words will be X's or O's. Or we might just do different colors and she can, if she can read it, she can write it. And then that's how she loves playing tic-tac-toe. So I thought I would incorporate that. And then she has her just writing practice. That will be on the language arts. We're kind of going more on uh, heavier on games um, as opposed to more worksheets because she likes that. So something hands on. For geography, we're going to play the Scramble of America game continue that um, we're gonna go over the flashcards as well as we're going to um, sing the song the state rhyme song I think the girls have it in their room they really like that so they practice that a lot <laughs> uh, for um, arts um, I didn't we didn't get to get do this last week so we're gonna finish this and then some coloring books as well as we're going to do a play-doh electric circuit activity I saw so we're gonna do that um, play-doh made with salt versus play-doh made with sugar and um, we'll do an activity with um, some LED lights um, so that will be kind of like put into kind of like arts fine arts okay uh, for religion uh, we're gonna go over the um, two book workbooks that I got um, activity uh, manners book as well as the puzzle of making a mosque and they can color and do that and then for science we're going to continue with our um, lab book for uh, electricity and we have some activities 
thought I put in a flash card. Um, we're going to have some of the, some activities um, of science projects that we're going to make. Uh, one is going to be using snap circuit. We're going to make a spinning art. Um, we're going to um, do experiments of uh, uh, conductors as well as um, some other magnet, how to make um, magnets, uh, some of those experiments. And what I might do is I might just um, do a day in the life of a homeschool and just kind of include those. Um, so as far as some of the hands-on activities she's, she will do is uh, the snap circuit. They love this. Then I had this. I think I purchased this from Once Upon a Child. So they're like wire puzzles. So I'm going to just, since we're learning about circuits, kind of related to wires. <laughs> so um, I thought I would bring this out for her to try. Then, woo! Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're going to... Oh, we didn't get a chance to do this, so we're gonna. I kept it on, so we're gonna do it. We did do this last week, and she liked it. So anytime I can get her to practice writing, I don't lose that opportunity because she usually doesn't like to write. So she's just gonna use this to make up her own words. And this is a like a jar of writing journal ideas that I put out here. So they ha She has like you know. Do you have a do you have a hobby? If you can live on any planet, which one would you pick? So she, she has some options. I want her to get back into like writing in her journals. So I have that for her. For math, uh, because we're introducing subtraction, I have this. This I got from Confessions of a Homeschooler. I, I had bought her like um, K4 curriculum and it came with that. Um, I will put the link below. I think she might have a freebie, I'm not sure. Um, so, um, she can use these as her uh, manipulatives and answer these questions. So she would pick one of these, put it right here, and then, um, so I would go like this, and then she would say, okay, so then she would get six of that, um, And then she would bring them down. So six would come down. Nothing else would come down. So all together, or actually how it would be is, so it'd be six. If since it's zero, nothing comes down here. So then she brings everything down from this side. So six minus zero is six. And then I have this kideko, or I don't know how you pronounce that, but I think it's kideko, or <laughs> so that's like math sometime. So I'll have her do some of the addition and math facts and that's all I have for my first grader as far as reading she reads <coughs> so much I didn't want to put all the books and the work boxes um, so um, um, she likes to do a video of what everything that she read so I will include whatever she reads on the video but she'll she reads like at least two books a day at minimum she reads a lot so uh, reading is a big part of our um, like time we spend together and stuff. So um, reading is huge in our house. So um, so that's all I have for my uh, first graders work box. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great one.